4 News with Don Hudson, Emily Flores, and Dan Pope. Parking issues of Little Conrad Canyon can cause some major frustrations depending on the time you go up. But over the holiday weekend, Snowbird Resort debuted a digital solution. Meteorologist Alana Brophy looks at the new rideshare app and how it performed on the busiest ski weekend of the year. Getting up Little Cottonwood Canyon is as easy as a tap of a finger with Snowbird's new rideshare app. It's convenient, it's free, and the carpool options, hey, are pretty friendly. Lots of full lots. It's no secret parking poses problems up Little Cottonwood Canyon. Yeah, it's, it's always a hassle up here. Powder hounds hunt for solutions, and they really only have one criteria. But if it's easy, yes, I'd do it all day long. Easy is the epitome of Snowbird's carpool app. Dave Amaralt and his team created and debuted Snowbird Ride at the start of the busiest ski weekend of the year. We launched it the day before at like 4 o'clock, and there were already a few hundred users in the app, and they were already coming up to Snowbird using the application. Now, those numbers basically doubled, with more than 400 rides shared and about 1,200 users. The app lets you either find a ride or offer a ride at about a dozen ride share spots throughout the valley. Every time you use the app, you earn points that get you sweet Snowbird swag. We wanted to create an app that basically had one singular purpose, and that was to reduce the number of single occupancy vehicles coming up here to Snowbird. App users get preferential parking right next to the center of Snowbird, and creators also included the exact same benefits for UTA bus riders. Riding the bus makes a huge difference in the, the number of vehicles in this canyon. You can also request a ride spot. Just added were pickups at the University of Utah in Westminster. On top of alleviating the pains of parking and bonding the boarding and skiing community, carpooling benefits everyone in the state by reducing pollution and our carbon footprint. When you register in the app, you can put in the type of vehicle you have, whether it's electric, gas, or hybrid. And based on the information we know from government um, data, we can, you can actually calculate how much carbon you've offset by carpooling up the canyon with everybody in the vehicle with you. For more information on the Ride app, head to our website, abc4.com. It's expected to be on the Google Play Store in the next few days. Reporting at Snowbird, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News. I feel a little bit like Pat Sajak here, but Snowbird swag includes stickers, fanny packs, water <laughs> bottles, and after 10 rides, you get a half-price lift ticket for your friends and family. The app creators hope to see other resorts use this app as well. Time now for Utah's most accurate